Brasco Green, Chief Loud Radio, right here at Cricket Streets with Symposia. Standing out here on the beat once again. We're out at a live event with Symposia. And tonight, artists, musicians, poets are sharing stories that are inspired by psychedelics. So we have standing here Will, who's a storyteller this evening. So we just want to kind of ask the question, what, what are you advocating by sharing your story this evening? Um, well, I know that a lot of people... Well, I mean, everybody, as I was talking about earlier, has that anxiety mm -hmm. in the seat of their stomach. Um, it, it usually it usually makes us think that we sort of have to do things that make us unhappy in order to make that anxiety go away. And I just want to sort of uh, illustrate a way to keep that anxiety there, associate it into your life, and use it to make yourself happy and to create things. Wow, that's deep. So now you have some pretty interesting artwork here. So kind of just uh, share with us these two pieces that you're showing us. So w with my technique, I, I sort of just let my hand shake and move around the page. And so what I did with this one here in particular is I just let it shake while holding the image of a skull in my head. And so for the first few layers, it didn't look like one. I used a really light pen. You can see the sepia in here. But eventually it did, and then I just outlined it as if it was all intentional, added some highlights, and you could just see the skull come forth through the, the chaos patterns. Yeah, I can kind of see where, you know, you have a teeth here a little bit. I, mm -hmm. I can see the image as it unfolds, and it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Thank you. So you're just letting your hand just kind of like go do its own thing. Yeah. Like its own mind. Yeah, I'm sort of exploring the patterns that your hand makes when it just shakes and you hold a pen in it. And um, I've been sort of evolving that by realizing it's not so much a shake as it is a spiral. So your, your hand or all your movements sort of move in this Fibonacci spiral shape. And as long as each stroke is in that shape, the, the sum, the whole image will take that shape as well. It, uh, like a fractal. It, 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 what you draw microscopically will form the macroscopic image. There you have it from Will, one of our storytellers this evening at Symposia. Thanks for having us out, Chief Loud Radio. Brasco Green, back to you, Cricket Streets Radio.